Have you ever wondered if you could go gay? Just for one date. It's not like I think being gay is a choice or anything, but after five bad dates with guys, shouldn't it at least be explored? According to you guys, yes, it should. I met Samantha at the mailboxes of my apartment building. We were both griping because our Netflix movies hadn't arrived, and somehow that evolved into her inviting me out for drinks. So how do you become a lesbian in only a few hours? Wikipedia. <laughs> it's just, it's funny. It's really... Oh my god. You are hilarious. You are. You're such a good storyteller. <sighs> I try. Well, you know what? This is actually the most successful dinner date I've been on in a while. <laughs> Well, play your cards right, and we might be sharing breakfast together. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> it's not a joke. But I have to admit, Ava, I've been watching you around the apartment complex. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And I'm sorry, but I have to say... You have the cutest tits. Let's do shots. You like Jaeger bombs? Um... Where's that sissy boy waiter? Hey, dude! Come here. Um, you know what, Sam? I actually, um, I can't really drink that much tonight. What do you mean you can't drink tonight? You came out with me. What did you think was gonna happen? Hey. Hey. Look at me. I'm totally messing with you. <laughs> I know you're not gay. What? How do you know? The flannel shirt, all the talk about Melissa Etheridge. It's right out of the lesbian Wikipedia page. <gasps> it's not the first time I've been out with a dabbler. Do yourself a favor, honey. Stick to your own side. You'll figure them out eventually. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> well, at least I got a new friend out of it. We make plans to go and scope out girls and guys next week. So here's the question of the day. Would you be willing to experiment if someone of the same sex asked you out? How far would you be willing to take it? You know, for the sake of science. Okay, let's see some comments from last week. Laugh Live Love 4 says, There is a line between classy and trashy. You don't want to cross that line the first date you go on with someone. Jordanian River says, Sounds like you needed to tone it down a little. Try being classy sexy instead of slutty sexy. Think 1950s pinup, not 2010 stripper. Kid Mecca says, I think a little sexiness is good, but you may have overdone it. Just a little. A nice guy is still a guy. The longer you can suppress the sexual side of him, the more you'll get to know him as a person, and the more he will like you for your personality. Mr. Fooge 71 says, All guys are boner zombies. It's just some of us have better control of our hunger than others. I've never heard this before. Cookie Dough 711 says, Here's a tip. When you start talking to a guy, look into his eyes. If his pupils get bigger, he likes you. It has something to do with the energy rush or something. Huh, that is so interesting. Honestly, a guy who drives a Fiero is probably way more interesting than a guy who drives a Ferrari. Good point. Thanks for commenting, everyone. I'll see you next week.